we've got to figure out how to play the way that we play at home when we go on the road. Um, the good thing is we're at home this week. Now, that doesn't necessarily fix all of our issues, um, certainly, but I think it brings some confidence. And right now we need a little bit of confidence coming off two road games where we, we just didn't play well. Um, when you look at our team, uh, it's really, really an offensive issue in my opinion. And I think um, we have a lot, a lot more talent than we did a year ago, but we are struggling to get all of our talent on one page. And when you watch us, we're just, our chemistry isn't great. Our shot selection isn't great. Uh, we turn the ball over more than we should because we're not on the same page. And it's not a lack of our kids not trying. Uh, they're working hard. They're playing hard. They just, they're just not clicking. And I think um, it affects our defense, right, when we're not knocking down shots. I mean, the, the La Tech game is a perfect example. We come out in the first quarter, and we're killing it. We're making every shot there is. Second quarter, we don't make any shots, and now we stop playing defense. And, um, you know, some of that is our, our inexperience. And some part of me, I feel, I feel bad because I put a lot of high expectations on this team because I knew what our talent would be and our talent is there. But in a lot of ways, we are, we are very young. You know, we have Laya who's returned, obviously, as, as a great player. But our second most experienced captain is Derek Pearson, who hasn't played since the middle of December. And that has hurt us on the court. And then you have Jade Phillips, who is a retro junior but didn't play in college until this year. You have Mariah Linney, Octavia Wilson, who are just uh, sophomores with limited experience, obviously more as they've you know, been sophomores. Um, you know, Christian Height, the transfer that you know, we thought would come in and help us a lot, but she didn't play as a freshman uh, in her previous school. And um, you know, we're, starting a fresh, we're starting a freshman in the post. And I mean, you can go down the list, but I just think you know, when you're a talented team, um, the lack of experience has trumped our talent a lot. And until we, we get more experience, we, we get more chemistry, we are going to see a team that goes up and down. And are we making some changes to, to write that? Of course we are. Um, but I do think that, you know, in some ways, like I said, that's my fault, that I, I put some high expectations on this team where um, I didn't expect the inexperience to hurt us as much as it has, and it has. Well, you have to try to, you know, we need to stay positive, being negative and harping on um, all the things we might not be doing right now. It certainly doesn't help when we have a lot of basketball left. And, um, you know, I think that's, that's the biggest thing for us is if we continue to worry about what we're not doing, our team's going to lose confidence. And, and that's, that's what we have to avoid. Um, you know, we are still and still can be a good basketball team. I, I truly do believe that. Um, but there's no way you're going to become a good basketball team if you don't have confidence. And so that's been a big thing for us going in this week. We have to stay positive and we have to keep this team confident. Well, I think you have to focus more on what they're good at than what they're not good at. And I think a lot of times, um, especially when you feel like you're not playing as well as you could, um, people tend to put the microscope on everything you're not doing well. And as players, you do that too. You start thinking about everything I'm not doing well, where I think you really have to flip it and say, well, these are your strengths and this is what you're really good at. And let's focus on what you're really good at. We can fix all your weaknesses later. We can fix those in the off season. Um, but just trying to you know, keep, keep kids focused on what they can do well um, I think is really important, you know, because again, we have a team of kids that, that want to play well. They, they want to do better. They, they know and they feel um, that they're not performing to the expectations. Um, and so, you know, just harping on, you know, what's not going well is going to continue them to be up and down versus let's focus on what you can do really well. We play two of the Texas schools, UTSA and uh, UTEP. Quite frankly, I, I don't, can't tell you a lot about UTEP at this point. Um, UTSA um, has one of the best players in the league in um, Benson. Uh, post, they we're worried about their post play. Um, uh, they're not super big, but mobile, athletic, physical. Um, you know, their, their post players are their leading scorers. Um, so for us, that's going to be important because we're not super big. Um, you know, Jasmine Harris, our freshman post that's starting right now, is a, a, a good offensive threat, but defensively, like most freshmen, just has work to do. And so uh, we're going to have to find a way to kind of counter that. Um, but I do think that this is a game where we can gain some confidence offensively. Um, you know, they have some weaknesses in terms of how do they play some things. They're going to double our post play, which if we can execute, um, you know, what we're supposed to do off that, we should be able to get some easy ones. And, um, you know, we'll go from there.